Good morning, everybody. It is 6.47 a.m. And I don't want to get up this morning. Ugh. But today, Lauren is installing my external fuel tanks and maybe jacking up the back of my van a little bit just to kind of gain a little bit more clearance from that back bumper when I'm going through all those dips. So we, we got to get up. Oh, somebody left a note on my window. It either says, get the heck out of here, do not park here, or it's from one of you awesome people. All right, what's it say? Well, it's definitely not a do not park here because it's got my name on it. <laughs> so, so that's good news. But one of these days, I'm gonna get that. You shouldn't park here. We don't want you in our neighborhood. But after six and a half years of been in my being in my van, I've never had that treatment. I think it's because I get up and move the second I wake up in the morning. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got for a love note here. It's a little wet. It rained last night. I left a business card. All right, this note is really hard to read because it's soaking wet and it's a two-sider. <laughs> That means I could see the writing on both sides through the paper. It says, hi, Chrome. I've been carrying this card around for about 18 months, hoping for an opportunity to give it to you. It's not my business card, but he may be able to do van builds and he has a CNC machine set up. Awesome. Hey, the name is Gordy. <laughs> Thanks for the note. <laughs> I love waking up to stuff like that. It's a really fun part about being a YouTuber. What a way to wake up with a darn smile. Good morning, everybody. Let's start this beautiful day. Lauren's already here. He beat me to it. Lauren's doing a little project on my van and I have to edit you guys a video. So this right now is my office. It's my voiceover setup. My beloved Shure SM7B microphone, which I love so freaking much. I used this back when I used to produce a radio show for two years. Man, I love that mic. Those are the old set of rims and tires that were on my van. Not bad. So four of them are 17 inches in diameter. And if you guys didn't know, my spare tire is an 18 inch wheel because we couldn't buy any more of those at the time. So we ended up just getting an 18 with a tire size that matches the same diameter. But yeah, if anybody wants a, a set of rims for their van, this thing fits dual bolt patterns, both eight by 170 and eight by 6.5. The eight by 6.5 is a Ford Econoline uh, wheel set. So I think the eight by 170 would be a truck maybe. But yeah, man, if you guys are interested in these, send me a message. Sweating all that hard work watching other guys here load my stuff. Seriously, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I didn't do anything. So we stopped by Rona to grab three more of those black and red cabinets, like the ones I have in the corner of my shop. So we're gonna do three of them on each side, so there's gonna be tons of storage. Alright, so here's the thing for my shower. Let's see if this thing fits in there. Done deal. And the Julka just snaps right in. And the cool thing about it is it allows me to take the shower out yes. if I were to ever need to move it. Yeah. It just unlatches and comes out. And that way you have always a dedicated place for it. So you don't have to pack it in, pack it out. It's yep. there. So the only thing I'll have to do is remove this shelf out of there because the jewel, because the jewel itself yes. is a bit too deep. This is awesome, dude. We're definitely going to put that in there for sure. I dig that idea. But you can buy this bag. It's a waterproof bag, except for the holes in the bottom to allow the water to go out. 
because these brackets are actually meant to strap to the outside of your vehicle during summer, not in the winter, because the inside of that will freeze the inside of the, uh, the shower. But you're, you're supposed to be able to mount this to the outside of your vehicle, which is kind of freaking awesome. So if I mount that in there, that'll free up a whole drawer in the back of the van. So we went out today and picked up three more cabinets. So in that corner, we have three cabinets on this side. We're gonna do one table there. That goes in the middle, just like it did at my other shop. One more table and three more cabinets. This will give us tons of cupboard space. Right? All that storage on both sides. I dig it. So anyway, while I was gone, Lauren lifted the back of my van two inches. Check it out. So now the van sits up a little bit higher in the back. Lauren said when he raised it back down because he put it back up that the, um, the leaf springs will settle down a little bit. So maybe down about a half an inch, giving me about a one and a half inch lift. That looks pretty freaking good, man. I'm stoked on it. But she sits a little bit like that, giving me a ton of extra clearance back here. So what was happening before, it was starting to sit a little lower in the back. I think it was because of all the additional weight that we added to it recently. And uh, I could have left it, it was fairly level, but I, I prefer a vehicle a little higher in the back versus being level. I think level looks a little too far backwards. I very rarely answer my cell phone and this is why. <laughs> they were speaking to me in some language, I don't know. <laughs> oh, phones. What's the point of answering them these days? This is so funny. We got a burn barrel out here, and me and Lauren are thawing our beers at the bottom. <laughs> They're a little frozen. Hey, it's like roast and weenies, kind of, but look at you guys, this is like frozen. Are you helping, buddy? Yeah. Look yeah. how dirty his face is. Look at that. From rubbing it on the floor. Yeah. That's a sign that we need to clean the floor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it, buddy. Let's do it, you. Holy food delivery. Look at that, baby. Whoo. Hey, that is a, that's a mighty big piece of fish. And this is herring for Cruzy Bear. Look at all the herring you got, buddy. Hey, fresh caught herring from a couple weeks ago, bro. Yeah, buddy. Just for you. Can't have them right now, but just for you. Dude, look at that. Let's get it, buddy. When'd you catch these? Yesterday. <laughs> nice. Bro, you can't have these, bro. Bro, you can smell it, but you can't. Oh. <laughs> Dad, it smells so good, Dad. No, buddy, <laughs> you can have that. This is good, bro. Right. Thanks, man. Another half. Share it with him. You, you two will eat that. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Did you cook these up? Yeah, I cooked them. Up. Nice, dude. It's our dinner. Nice. Because he's uh, like, what? What you got for me? You are, you got stuff in the freezer, bro. You, you can't have everything. What size shirt? What size shirt do you? Uh, medium. We have a bunch of uh, misprint shirts. Hey, these are going up for sale pretty soon. These were misprints. Commercial so wash. So that's a misprint shirt. You can see how it's splitting a little bit there. How many times have you washed that? Uh, probably six, seven times. Six, seven times. So yeah. for as cheap as we're going to sell the misprints because they split, Yeah. not bad, man, not bad. Yeah. Oh, guys, we are spoiled. Mm. Spoiled rotten. Look at that. I found a the subscriber on the East Coast told me that the longer that crab and lobsters stay out of water. They start to like soak in their own whatever and they get fishy flavor. You know what I mean? Like super fishy. And normally I'm not a fan of lobster and crab, but when they're fresh, oh my gosh. That's heaven. Dude, you have strong hands. I can't do this. I'm 
not sure putting this together is something that I feel like doing right now. We got three of them to put together. Oh, the color of that sky looks awesome tonight. Looks wicked. Hey. He's allowed to leave, bro. Hey, he's the one that brings you all the treats and the, and the herring fish. Don't yell at him. <laughs> I put all the other ones together, but these ones, uh... <laughs> I think I put them all together like on the same day too. I, uh, I don't really have the patience for this today. Yeah, I'm not doing this anymore. So I made a mistake. I was using the square head ones in the round hole, so those were all done with the wrong nut and bolt, so I quit. <laughs> we're gonna do this tomorrow. It would make sense that the square ones go in the square holes. I should read instructions. We were bumping the music up here tonight because we don't have our stereo hooked up downstairs yet, but uh, I've noticed a lot of people mentioning about this garage door and safety for the dog. But yeah, it's not gonna be left open because that's just a hazard. I've seen that a lot in the comments. Like, Whoa, what about poor Cruz and that big door? Easy, you just keep the door shut. I was hoping that we could get all three of these together. I didn't even get <laughs> a part of one, but it's super late right now. Time is, what are we at? Saturday night. 9 27 p.m. Lauren's gone to bed. It's bedtime for me, too. We gotta turn on the outside lights. If we don't turn on the outside lights, we'll never see inside the. Oh, that's right. We got the garage door sensors. We're okay. Ah, oh, look how good that looks. Well, I know today's plan was to do the external fuel tanks, but we realized when we got here to the shop today that we're still waiting for an order for some fittings and stuff like that, which will be coming in a little bit later uh, next week. So, so we never had the chance to do any of the gas tank stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you guys in the, in the morning. It's bedtime. See you guys in a minute. Good morning, everybody. I've been sleeping in a lot lately. Uh, that's a pretty cool, pretty cool clock, right? That's the operating system on the iPhone. So at night, the time stays super dim, and that's my favorite one. But you got like other options too. You can do like different ones, but that was my favorite. Good old classic watch face. <laughs> Good morning, Cruzy. Look at the drool spots he leaves on the bed when he sleeps. Hey, bro, you're a sloppery mess. I wouldn't have it any other way, buddy. Yeah. No, I am, uh, <laughs> I'm filthy. But seriously, guys, if, uh, if anybody's interested in the rims and tires that used to be on my van, there's no reason for me to keep them. I, uh, I really enjoy now having my tires stick out a little bit because it gives me a lot more room underneath there to put tire chains. It just creates a bigger gap between here and the backside. These, ones are, these rims and tires were awesome though, but seriously, if anybody's interested, hit me up. The benches from my other shop will be going against that wall and I'm thinking about painting them with a different color scheme. That's the center bench, which will go around about the same position. And then these benches go in the corners over there, just like they did in my other shop. But all the wood that's on here, like the natural colored wood, I'm thinking about painting gray or black. So what do you think that would look like with the gray in the background, black, all that wood is gray, black on the bottom with that red tool chest in the middle. Do you think that's gonna to be too much of a cheesiness to bring that gray down into here? Or should I just do all the legs black? And the same thing over here. So this would still stay red. This would still stay black, but the legs would go gray. 
What do you think, Cruzy? What do you think we should do? He doesn't care. He's like, I gotta go pee. <laughs> okay, bro, let's go. You can go pee, buddy. Lauren had to put his Starlink up because my shop doesn't put Wi-Fi out there. And I kind of wish it did. That was one of those little regrets that I should have done while this place was in wide open shell because running wires to things like that are super simple at that point. But I, you know, I didn't think about how much projection of Wi-Fi I would need outside. And it sucks though, because we have such good freaking Wi-Fi out here. It's so fast in here. It'd be awesome if that was projected out the front and out the back of the shop. So I don't know if there's options out there for me to run like a repeater box or something like that that doesn't need to be wired right through because doing wiring now is not, uh, <laughs> it's, not it's not an option. I'm kind of feeling like it's time to take a bit of a breather from inside the shop space and go out and play in nature a little bit. I, uh, I don't feel like doing anything this morning. I don't feel like putting together any of these cabinets at all. I don't feel like sanding and painting benches at all. I, uh, yeah, I seem to be going in waves with this. Couple days out, couple days back, maybe four back, four out, that'd be awesome. But uh, the faster we get this place done, the faster we can bounce off on some adventures. I'm still very undecided on my summer travels. The Yukon is still on my mind. I'm worried about fuel prices and my daughter's graduating. Um, next month so I need to be around here for that so I'm still unsure about how the kickoff to this summer is going to start. I have next year's trip planned already. We are doing another coast to coast trip. It's, that's the thought anyway. I'd love to do a full coast to coast one again but uh, this year is a bit a bit broken up because of the graduation so I'm unsure about how to start off this trip so I don't know what I'm doing right now, <laughs> but I think we need to go get some nature, some campfires, and uh, some good food out there in the bush somewhere. So, I don't know if we're doing that tomorrow. We can't do that today because I have someone coming by today to grab some, uh, some cables and stuff for their off-road lighting kit. And, uh, yes, we're going to be around here for that. I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing, Cruzy? What do you feel like doing? Hi, buddy. Hi. Every time he sees everybody, he walks over to them and turns around and says, Scratch my butt. Scratch my butt. <laughs> anyway, you guys, keep your double V's up in the air. If you're wondering what the double V's mean, the double V's mean van city, van life. I had someone in the comments the other day said, What does double D's mean? But like, you just really think that at the end of my videos, I might throw the double V's in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking laugh so hard when I see that comment. It's double V's, not double D's. You can throw those in the air too if you want. It don't matter, but this is just advanced van life. Anyway, y'all, hope you take some inspiration from my videos and my journey that I've gone on over the last six and a half years living in this thing. And just know that if you drop that rent and save that rent money and still keep working hard and you put that rent money in the bank that you can do anything you want in your life. Like me, I chose to take that six years of saved rent money and start this business right here with all that saved rent. Yeah, man, living in this thing, best decision I ever made. All right, y'all, <laughs> throw your double V's in the air or the other one if you want. Peace out.